Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Krakadash. Double honors to the elders and to the apostles of Great Millstone. And enough respect to the brothers that are out there pushing and spreading the truth, which is the gospel of Yahweh Bahashem Shai to the four corners of the world. Now, uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Shai, I just want to touch on this article real quick. Um, I'm reading this article about our food and um you know recently i've been making a lot of videos as to how um as to how you know the common man is being groomed okay into submission um by means of what by means of withholding okay um you know government benefits government aids being taken away you know you have uh these farmers out here that are catching hell and um, you know they are protesting to the to the legislators, and uh, no one is hearing them. Okay, and if they do hear them, nothing is actually being done to help them. Okay, and if something is being done to help them, it's not something that's being done to make them completely self sufficient. All right, it's it's only something that just helps them get by with their afflictions. Okay, now. Um, I just want to highlight how important, how very important food is. And um, I'm reading this article and I, I'm i thinking of Revelation, the, Revelation chapter 13 verse 16, uh, where it says what he causes all, the he being um, uh, Esau Edom, okay? And the system that he created causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark, okay? That's the mark of the beast, and, and and that's the uh, what that's the uh, system of these Edomites in their right hand or in their forehead and and more specifically okay the beast more specifically what uh, NATO and EU to receive a mark in their right hand or in your foreheads it says so the causes means to what to make someone do something to compel someone okay to put someone in a very difficult position to where what to where they uh, ultimately relent and they do what you want okay that is it and food is a very important part of warfare okay because like a scripture says this is um the, the weapons of our warfare not carnal okay but uh but uh, but our mighty um so roughly paraphrasing this is a warfare that's going on okay and so one of the th one of the things that we fight is a so-called reformation of the world as we know or what's commonly known as the uh, new world order so and so seeing as how this is a warfare let us find out how important food is okay in turning the tides of war okay so going on it says food can be withheld by preventing it from being grown and harvested by destroying it after harvest by preventing it from being shipped to where it is needed or by contaminating it and rendering it unfit for consumption. Indigenous farming populations have been scattered or exiled from their native lands by conquering armies to make room for their own colonists who would subjugate and establish their hege their hegemony over the, over the local in inhabitants, okay? So when you have control of food, right, when you're able to control um people's access to food you become very very powerful it is an it, it's a tremendous advantage to have over another man okay to have over an, uh, an, another person so you have when you when you read about news okay uh, about farmers okay let me get one right now when you read about farmers protesting okay farmers and animal rights activists are coming together to fight big factory farms. When you read about big factory farms monopolizing American food systems, you have to wonder, okay, one of the big uh, um, food <laughs> producers right now is Cargill in America. It, it is the biggest, not one of the biggest, it's the biggest actually in the world, okay? So when you have these people taking over food supply, um, buying up all the land and and um, tethering farmers to contracts, you have to understand that what these men are securing, they're, they are securing a, a, a grasp 
on the food supply. And when they do so, they do so to the intent that they may what? That they may humble the public, that they may cause all, both small and great, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And this mark is not sin. This mark is talking about what? The, the, the RFID chip. Okay? It's not, it's not talking about sin. Okay? Because this mark right here is not... The scripture doesn't say you can take this mark and, and, and then you can, you can take this mark and then, and then take it off. That's not how the mark works. The mark is something that you either take or you do not take. That is it. So if it's sin... The scripture says we have all sinned and have fallen short of the grace of God. You know, the scripture actually says that a righteous man <laughs> falleth seven times. Okay. So, um, you know, you know, like even, even a righteous man, while he's righteous, he sins. Okay. Hey, you have the, 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 the apostles. Okay. You had certain people in the ministry that what, uh, um, um, it, when, when the ministry was first, what was, was, was fresh. In its beginnings, people were people were told that they didn't even, they didn't even have to be circumcised, but they were doing the righteous things. Okay, but and, and and this is a topic within another topic, but you know pretty much the mark ain't talking about sin, because sin is too often, um um, it's 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 not sin. There's very something very special about this mark. It is something that you either take or do not take. You know. And so if it's sin, then we have all taken it and we should all die. And and that's not how the scripture describes the mark to be. But like again, this is I don't want to derail the whole topic. So let's get back into the um um uh you know the topic and um you know keep 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 the video um on track. So one of the ways in which it causes all is by what controlling access. Okay, it's by controlling the food system you know and through that he can what he can humble the uh the society and make society and bend society to his will so um let's read more on that it says ancient armies have salted the earth and destroyed irrigation system to make an area unsuitable for growing crops in the culmination of the punic wars with carthage in the 3rd and 2nd century BCE, Rome defeated the armies of Hannibal, destroyed his empire, and they plowed his land with salt to make it infertile. The Roman practice of contaminating water supply by dumping dead animals into wells has continued into recent history as demonstrated by an instance during the American Civil War when the Confederate soldiers fouled the water supplies of the Union forces with dead animals. Okay? So food is very, very important. When, 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 when you hear brothers preaching about how the food systems are being controlled, take that seriously, okay? Take that seriously. Watch, okay? And be very, very diligent as to how food is being controlled. How is food, uh, how is our access to food being restricted, Read more about Cargill, man. When you when you type on when you go to Google, just specifically type in this company, Cargill, right? Cargill and 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 John John Deere, okay. Type in these companies, and you're gonna find out these companies are like, they they, they yo, <laughs> they're insane. There's a secret agenda going on to take over the entire uh, uh um. You know, like it says, what the leader of a global enterprise with long records of success in agriculture and food sectors. You know, and they do so by what by afflicting the poor. Pictorial representations in Egypt depict sieges over four thousand years old, while the while the uh, the Iliad of Homer describes the siege of Troy by the Greeks over three thousand years ago. It it like many of the numerous sieges that followed ended not through force of arms, but through deception and treachery. And this is what we're facing right now. Okay, deception 
and treachery, betrayal, right, of the public trust. You have these men that the public put it put in power, you know, they 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 gain uh um status in society because they promise the public prosperity and comfort and peace. But when they get into that position, what do they do? They sell out. They sell out the public. They sell out future prosper, uh, 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 prosperity. They sell out the future generations, okay? The comfort of the future generations. And then and then they, they leave. Deception and treachery, still going now. The Spartan siege of Athens that ended the, Pel uh, the, the Peloponnesian Wars was ineffective as long as the Athens could obtain f food by water. Only by allying themselves with Persia and destroying the Athenian navy were the Spartans able to starve them into what? Into submission. Food, as I said, uh, right? Food is going to be one of the ways in which what they cause all, both small and great, to receive that mark in their right hand. They're going to use a lot of, a lot of tactics. They're going to use lies, right? They're going to use conveniences. They're going to pass laws, and then they're going to restrict you food. You know, because you can get by sleeping under a bridge. You can't get by if you can't even, you know, get your hands on an apple. That That's really going to change your mind. Hunger will mess you up, man. Let me see if I can get more than that. Right, scorch er, min, min, uh, scorch scorch earth is an also not a, a tactic involving food. Many countries ha have adopted a scorch earth policy, which is destroying anything that might be of use to an invading enemy, to prevent an invading army from living off the land. Mm. You see, so food is very very important. When you read about articles about food, you know. Don't think lightly of them. So that's all I wanted to say with that. I hope that the kitchen goes out. To the brothers that are listening, I want to say shalom. To the few aquifers that are also listening in truth and sincerity, I also want to say shalom. May the blessing of bless you be upon all the houses. And until next time, shalom.